Gladys aka is at your hair and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel welcome I'm so happy to have you here be sure to click that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and definitely tap the notification bell and if you have been rocking with me for a minute what's up what's good welcome back so today I'm here with this lovely unit by Outre and the name of this unit is called 4A Spring Spiral. This unit is from their Big Beautiful Hair collection. Some of you may remember when they first came out with this collection, I think about two years back where they had like the 3C Whirly, 4AB Kinky, things like that. And I've actually had those wigs. This was prior to me having a YouTube channel and I loved all of them. So I was really happy when this unit came out in this style, especially like a longer style. This unit does come with your typical cap construction. It does have two combs, more so at the side, which I really like here and here, a comb in the back with adjustable straps. This is a lace front unit. So there was lace to cut and it comes with a set part that can go, I think it can be shifted either to the middle or the side, but I prefer the right side part. Let me give you a quick 360 of the unit. So let's just dive right into the pros of this unit. First pro to me is definitely the style. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now in the beginning, you did see how it came off the pack. It was a little bit longer and the curls were more uniform. However, when I have natural kinky hair curly units, I do prefer them to look a little bit more lived in. So you did see me like rake my fingers through it over and over again. And honestly, off camera, I would say it took me like a good uh, 40 minutes <laughs> to get it to where I wanted it to be. Mind you, I am more of a perfectionist when it comes to curly hair and cutting and whatnot. It might take me longer than the average person, but when I see the end result, I'm like, wow, Gladys, you did that. <laughs> so the style is awesome. I really like the cap construction. I think that the brown lace that it came with is matching so well with my skin tone. I also love <laughs> that is big head friendly. Right now my braids are totally out of my head so I just have like these wet twists underneath here that I'm going to wash out later. So to have this cap still fit me so stretchy is really great. So if you have like a 23 inch head, 22 and a half, this cap is good to go for you. I do like the parting space on this unit, very natural, no plucking required. It goes back I would say like a good maybe three and a half, four inches. And I like that it curves a little bit towards the back. Honestly, y'all, I don't really have any cons to this unit. I, I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Now you saw how I was cutting the unit and I do have a few tutorials on how I cut my Kinky Curly units. I will link some of them down below. Normally, I like to frame it in a V shape. So you'll see 
that there are shorter pieces up here and it gets longer towards the bottom. And I think that flatters my face shape the best. It's really up to you how you wanna customize your units. I don't recommend just wearing her straight out the pack and plopping on her head, you know, to each his own, but I just feel like a little bit of work should go into making this look right for you, especially when it comes to things framing your face. Everyone's face shape is different. So for me, having a more rounder face, I think this V shape is perfect. But yeah, y'all, I'm loving it. She's beautiful, bouncy. I love this curl pattern. It does remind me of the 3C Whirly wig from this collection a little bit, except those curls were a little bit more a little bit more tightly coiled, almost wiry curls, or this is more of a straight up corkscrew, if you see what I mean. I actually think this is a, this looks a little bit more human hair-like versus synthetic-like. You know what I mean? Like there are some curly synthetic units where it's like, okay, this looks really synthetic. It looks kind of like ramen noodles, but this doesn't look like this at all. So please let me know how you feel about this outro unit in the comments down below. How do you feel about the way that I cut her? Would you rock a unit like this? Sound off in the comments. You know I love when y'all talk to me. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Go pick this one up. As long as you plan on doing something to her. Don't just wear her straight out the pack. <laughs> and if you are new to my channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button. We are on the road to 10K and I'm super excited for everyone that's joining the family. So let's keep going, let's keep moving. I have lots more content coming for you guys. As I mentioned in my last video, I am working from home for the next few weeks. While doing that, I am focusing a lot on my YouTube channel and I'm excited to bring you some really cool things, including a different hairstyle that I'm going to try. If you wanna guess it, leave it in the comments down below. I never get to do it because my hair is always in braids, but since I have this quick little break before I throw braids back in, I'm gonna do something a little bit different for y'all. So make your guesses down below. And if you'd like to see some more of my latest content, check them out over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.